So question two has some patterns. So please turn to page 277 and have a look. They are a series of connected octagons. That is part A. They're just asking you to name the shape. What is it? They are octagons. Then part B asks us to fill in this table. So it gives us some information and then we've got to fill in these in. You, frankly, you can just count them because they actually give you some more information here. And if you count them, you'll see that this is 20 uh, and this is 22. And hopefully you can see what's going on here with the pattern. This is going up by six every time, which makes this 26. And this is going up by seven every time, which makes this 29. Now we're skipping a couple, but again, we're just going to go up by sixes and we're going to go up by sevens. So we have 26, then five would be 32. Then six would be 30. What did I just say? 32, 38, and then plus another six is 42. All right, same thing here. We're going to go up by sevens and we'll end up on 50. All right, so the next part of this is coming up with rules. So part C asks us to come up with an arithmetic sequence. So what I'm going to do is remember that my rule is the first term plus n minus 1, whoops, <laughs> it's happening again, times the difference. So in this case, the first term is 8 plus n minus 1, and the difference is 6. So I distribute this. I end up with 8 plus 6n minus 6. So if I put that all together, 6n plus 2, and that is part i. I, I is the same thing with the vert the, sorry the lines that was the vertices. Uh, some people asked about the word vertices. It just means dots or corners, right? So it's the mathematical name for corners. Um, part two is about the lines. So again, oh no, sorry, I'm lying. That's D. Part two is asking us what is the twenty third pattern. So I'm just going to use my rule six times twenty three plus two. And if I work that out, it's 140, which means there are 140 lines, or sorry, 140 vertices in the 23rd pattern. Now, D is exactly the same, but with the other rules. So, sorry, with the other things. So, we're looking at lines. So, again, first term plus, uh, plus n minus 1 times D, which is 7 at this time. So, then I get 8 plus distribute this, 7n minus 7, so I'll end up with 7n plus 1. So that is my rule for D. Now E is pretty simple. E is just asking us to do one minus the other. And I have totally run out of space, but all I'm being asked to do is say the second one minus the first one. Now this is where people mess it up. You must have brackets around this because this negative is going to distribute. So I've got 7n plus 1 minus 6n minus 2. So then I have n minus 1. And that is my part D. All right. Hopefully that's good.